Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Tasha Verma, 23-year-old Jason Scott, has been arrested in connection to a murder in Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that it was a murder for hire. Right, Fox 5's Teresa Priolo joins us live from Astoria, where the victim lived. Teresa, what can you tell us? Yes, yeah, Steve and Natasha, residents I spoke to here, they didn't know the victim, but they do know who Remy Ma is, and they're telling us that they hope her celebrity doesn't play into this case. Tonight, we are learning that that victim was allegedly killed by Remy Ma's son, Jason Jace Scott. So here's what we know at this hour. 23-year-old Scott was arrested today on first-degree murder and weapons charges. It's unclear if he pulled the trigger or if he hired the hit that took the life of Darius Gilbo, who lived here at the Ravenswood houses in Astoria. The crime occurred nearby in broad daylight back in 2021. Gilbo took hits to the head and to the chest. Gilbo had an extensive criminal history. Eight months before he was killed, he was indicted in a massive drug trafficking operation. As for Jay Scott, he appeared alongside his mom, Rebby Ma, in the hit show Love and Hip Hop. She's one of the biggest names in hip hop and has been since 2006. She also has something of a lengthy rap sheet and has done six years in prison on a gun crime. But none of that mattered to the folks that we talked to here in Astoria. It doesn't matter if it's a celebrity or not. Exactly. If you commit a crime, you're supposed to be paid for the crime you committed. It could be anybody. It doesn't matter. You know, if they're, you know, their mother's famous or father's, it doesn't matter. We got the police station on the corner. We got sanitation. So and they're not around. too many things happening here. They happen around here, but not in here. It's really difficult. Statement. We received a statement from Remy Ma's attorney about Jay Scott. Uh, that, that came in late this afternoon. They said that, that Remy Ma hoped to publicly address this. She's been advised not to. So they told us, quote, nevertheless, Remy Ma is committed to pr uh, proving Jason's innocence and supporting her child during this time. We stand by Jason's innocence and hope the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. Now, back out here live, we should also tell you that a second man, a man by the name of Richard Swigert, was also arrested and charged with murder and weapons charges. Steve and Natasha, it's unclear what led to this, if there was any relationship between these guys before this murder happened. We can tell you that we are expecting Scott to be arraigned early next week. That's the latest from Astoria tonight. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Teresa, thank you. Man, man, here we go, man. Uh, whew, um, man, check it, man. It's your boy, ECEO, man. Um, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, Boss Talk 101. I just wanted to comment a little bit on this because, you know, I got a couple of texts about it. I got a lot of partners in New York. Um, Remy Ma, I've been a big fan of Remy ever since she did time. You know, being somebody that can relate is just something that I watch. And now to see her son, uh, Jay Scott, going through this is crazy to me. But it's life, you know, people go through things and, you know, hopefully they can, you know, kind of try to figure out a way to salvage his life if he's innocent. I definitely want to say condolences to the family who lost their son. And I think this was like in 2021, but whatever the case may be, things are boiling now. Media is taking and saying, hey, man, justice has to be served. They're trying to figure out who, uh, what, when, where and how. Um, all I can tell you is it gets serious around this time. Um, there is supposed to be somebody else that was involved as well. I'm just trying to understand, you know, what type of, you know, situation this is, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want to see no innocent man locked up, but then I don't want to see people roam free after somebody's lost their life. Um, I just, you know, I feel for Remy, her son, he's 23 years old. So at the end of the day, being 23 years old and having to deal with, you know, uh, a murder charge, man, that's crazy. You know, I have kids and I don't know where I would be or what my mindset would be having to deal like some you know, deal with something like that. It's crazy, but it's life, man. And so Remy is, is, is a tough woman. She already did time. Uh, Papoose, I'm pretty sure he has a long lasting relationship with this young man trying to understand how to help him in this situation, in his time of need, that's going to be something that's uh, detrimental that he's going to definitely have to try to understand, you know, uh, where do I go from here? How do I beat this charge? I'm lawyered up because you see his lawyer spoke on his behalf uh, during this 
the, the news media, you know, shout out to Fox five and those guys for delivering us that news, you know, but it's just crazy, man. And being one that, you know, I'm a man, but just having a, a woman's perspective, uh, I got my girl reality TV. She going to chime in and let us know kind of what, uh, what she feel about the whole situation. Uh, reality TV, you, you there? Yes, I'm here. What's going on? Man, you know, uh, you you know how we do. You know, uh, have you heard about the Remy Ma uh, 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 son uh, Jay Scott uh, situation? You know, I have. You know, I'm I'm always in the, the business. What's the tea on this that you hear, and what you what are you what what are you thinking about this? You know, I, I prayers out to her and her family. She, you know, she been in the uh, tabloids and the blogs a lot lately. Wow. You know, so she she's definitely been having a rough road with her career. And I love her as an artist. I really do. And um, I just think this should be a lesson to the young men out here. Just, you can't get out of the streets. Like, I just, I don't, I don't understand me as a woman. I don't. I don't. I can't speak on it. But I just most definitely. I just gotta pray for everybody because this is a a real serious situation. What about a, being a son? You know, going through that. You got sons. Like, like, how would you? What What would you think? You know, how could you make it through something like this? What would you do to you know comfort yourself and during this time to know that everything will be all right? You know, you always just got to keep the faith in prayer. You know, no matter how hard it gets, you always got to pray because things happen in life, no matter who you are. But, you know, your kids have their own mind, especially when they get grown. and They're going to venture off and do their own things and they're going to have their own perspective of life, no matter what the upbringing is. Because I know everybody question is why when your mother is. Remy Ma, why are you choosing to be in the streets, regardless of what he's going through? Yeah, what about what about the murder for hire? When you hear murder for hire, like that's a that's a pretty stiff statement. When you hear murder for hire, yes, that's why like I that that's fear. two or three people involved. You know, uh, the young man is is uh, as you you know his he's the victim. I'm I'm looking at him. I got him on the screen here. It's like. Uh -huh. Man, you know, you hate to see somebody pass like that, but murder for hire, like, like maybe it's a per, it's a personal thing somebody had. But when you hear that, you start looking at three, four different people trying to cover themselves, and somehow, some way, somebody ends up being uncovered during that somebody process. Somebody always gonna tell. That's why you do a crime. If you don't do a crime, do it by yourself. Yeah. Some, somebody gonna tell. Yeah, wow, man. Well, I just want to tell you, thank you. I just wanted to grab you right quick. People was texting and tweeting about it, and I was seeing it come across the timeline, so felt like I wanted to get with you on this one, man. I want to tell you, appreciate you for, uh, uh, you know, calling in and rocking out with me like this, and we got to, we, we, I guess we got to get back to it. A lot of people have been asking us to come back. I've been hearing people requesting us to talk about different things that's going on. So we might do, you know, whatever else you have that's popping. Let me know. Uh, people get in the comments if it's something you guys want to hear us speak on. But uh, Reality TV, uh, call in and chop it up with us, man. And I just want to, uh, you know, just say appreciate all y'all for liking, and subscribing. And make sure you join our membership, um, you know. Um, and keep Remy Ma and her son and the victim family in your prayers, man. And, uh, man, we appreciate you guys. Boss Talk 101, one of bosses, bosses talk, man. man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.